Today we are here to study the curvation in fish scale. In this lesson, we will discuss that why fishes have different colors and how this is possible to show many colorations in the fish scales. First of all, let me introduce about this. Majority of the fishes are vividly and brightly colored. It's one of the most common phenomena found among the fishes. Enormous range of colors and patterns that produced in fishes are generally related to their environment. Normally, darker on the dorsal and the lighter on sides or ventral side. This phenomena gives them a protection from above and below. Because when a predator sees from below side, the body color of the fish resembles with the color of the sky and they are camouflaged. Same as when a predator sees on the above side, the body color of the above side of fish camouflage with the stones of the seas present inside. Fishes have uniform coloration as found in the golden fish etc. So what is the reason? There are aridocytes on the surface of the scales will have a silvery appearance such as that found on the tin foil bulbs or hatchet fish. If the lower side having iridocytes of the skin, the fish have a matte white color. In certain cases, the iridocytes can combine with the chromatophores and then it produce reflective colors. So the important feature is the presence of iridocytes. This slide shows the picture of colored fishes. The coloration in fishes is due to the different pigmentations present in the fish and their scales present that color according to the pigment. Fish comes in lots of different colors and patterns. In this diagram, you can see the French angelfish, Pacific blue tank, threadfin butterfly fish with yellow and white black patterns, royal grandma fish with violet and yellow and white color, spotted trigger fish, uh, their belly is spotted and having different color in this fish. Forcep fish, Cuban hogfish, mandarin fish, blue ring angel fish, pearl scaled butterfly fish. You can see that how beautiful these fishes are due to their colors in scales. Now let me discuss that which type of colors the fishes have and why. Actually their living behavior, their environment decides the coloration of the fishes. Because the pigments present in the body may not be active in the other environment. The free swimming fishes, mostly the free swimming fishes have simple coloration. The whitish belly, silver lower sides, back are blue or green. Uh, as you see, the fish you have eat, mostly they have the whitish belly and silvery lower side. Now the fishes which are uh, bottom dwellers. The bottom dweller fishes have strongly marked above white pale beneath. Their upper portion of the body is marked with lines mostly and their 
belly is pale in color and the fish is present in the coral reefs mostly they are brilliantly and elegantly colored as you have seen in the last picture the fish is having different type of coloration these type of fish is mostly present in the coral reefs the example of coral reef fishes is also cardinal fishes butterfly fishes trigger fishes and parrot fishes etc you can see further the pictures of different type of fishes now the oceanic fishes oceanic fishes is, is silver in the upper side their middle portion is mostly in the red range and their depth is violet or black these are the picture of the fishes which are found in the depth the bottom dweller fishes they are they have strongly marked lines they have different colors and their pattern are very rare these show mostly the beautiful different color patterns and like rainbow colors present in these fishes now let me discuss that what are the sources of the color scales mostly the color scales are only due to the presence of the pigment due to the presence of schema chromes the physical configuration and biochromes are the true pigments these are the reasons that the body of the fishes have different color patterns now how many type of schema chromes are present they are mostly present in white blue and violet and in decent colors white mostly the skeleton gas bladder scales and testes these are present mostly in skeleton gas bladder scales and testes while blue and violet colors present in the iris and in descent present in scales eyes and intestinal membranes now the biochromes includes the carotenoids chromolipoids indigoids carotenoids mostly yellowed chromolipoids are yellow to brown and the indigoids are red blue and green in colors the other biochrome includes the melanin pigment porphyrins and bile pigments flavines purines and terrins melanin mostly shows the black or brown color while the porphyrin and bile pigment shows red color yellow green blue and brown color flavins oftenly shows yellow and often with greenish fluorescence purines mostly have white or silvery color as i have told you that uh, the oceanic fishes mostly have silvery color so the purine is present in the oceanic fishes the terrines mostly white yellow red and orange in color you can see different type of fishes now you have decided that the biochromes and schema chromes are the reasons that why the different fishes have different colors and the colors are different not only in one fish but in different organ of a single fish for example their colors of eyes is different the color of caudal fin is also different from the color of other body parts so these are all due to the presence of different pigments in their body on different 
organs. Now let me study that which biochrome is present in which organ of the body. Let's start with the carotenoids and purines. Mostly the carotenoids and purines appear in the skin of fishes, their liver, egg and eyes. The second biochrome is the melanin. Melanin pigment is mostly present in the endoderm and skin of the fishes. Porphyrins, porphyrins found in the muscles and blood. You must remember the color shown by these pigments. For example, the porphyrin, as you have studied that, it shows the yellow, green, blue and brown color. And I have told you that it is present in the muscles and blood of the fishes. Now the bile pigments. Bile pigments are found in the skeleton and bile of the fishes. Flavins are found in blood, muscle, spleen, gills, heart, kidneys, eggs, livers and eyes. So what was the color of the flavin? The flavin shows the yellow color with greenish fluorescence. Mostly it shows the greenish fluorescence. So all these parts if they have the flavin present in it then they must show the yellow color or the greenish fluorescence. Now the purines. Purines mostly present in the scales and eyes. Purine mostly show the white and silvery color. Terines are in the eyes, blood, liver, kidneys and stomach. So these are the pigments which are present in the different organs and that's why that organ show different color. So you must remember the name of these pigments and the colors which have shown by, by the pigments. Then you have to learn about the pigments present in the organs. Now, as we have studied about the pigment, now there are some special cells present for the color. We have learned about the pigment, now we have learned about the special cells which are specified for the coloration or the pigmentation. Two kinds of cells present, the chromatophores and the erythrocytes. Mostly the chromatophores impact true colors and these are located in the dermis of the skin. It may be present outside or beneath the scales. These are also found in the peritoneum and deeply around the brain and spinal cord. The basic type of chromatophores are erythrophores, xanthophores, melanophores, and leucophores. The erythrophores mostly present the red and yellow color. Xanthophores present the yellow color only. Melanophores shows the black color, but the leucophores shows white color. I will repeat that the erythrophores shows red and orange color, xanthophores shows yellow color, melanophores present the black while the leucophores present white color. These are all the chromatophores. 
So the second special cells are the iridocytes. Iridocytes also known as the mirror cells because they contain reflecting material that mirror colors outside the fishes. The color present outside of the fish in the environment of the fish. It reflects the body of the fish. Mostly it may cause the camouflage. These having erythrocytes having the purine, large crystals that are incapable of movement. Now, uh, what is the significance of coloration of scale? As we know that everything which is created by Allah is having worth and they have the specific basic of their presentation. So what is the significance of the creation of scales? Why the scales have different colors? And why different fishes show different colors? So the, uh, it is specific for the communication with either the member of the same species. Intraspecific or with different spe species, interspecific. The interspecific sig intraspecific signals. Why they have uh, used the intraspecific signals? They use for the recognition, threat or in the warning conditions. They also use the intraspecific signals for the sexual purposes, cognition of their parents. For example, the hemichromics which are bright during the period of caring their young ones. It shows the parent parental care. The second are the interspecific signals. The interspecific signals for the warning or the intimidating potential predator. How the fishes change their body color? There are two types of adjustment found in the body of fishes, rapid and semi-permanent adjustment. These adjustments are due to the survival conditions or maybe any other condition. What is the rapid adjustment? It is by the pigment granules within the chromatophores by expansion and contraction. Semi-permanent adjustment is by an increase in number of chromatophores are like artist increases the number of stipples for shading. The adjustment is of different types. Same as the Hormonal control. Due to the general agreement that coordination of color change is by interaction of nervous system and hormonal control. In Skylium, darkening as a black background response involves MDH. MDH is an hormone known as melanin dispersing hormone and paling on a white background involves MAH. MAH is another hormone known as melanin aggregating hormone. These hormones respond the color change in a skylium species. Also evidences of hormonal control found in some teleosts. For example, Anguilla, Ictalarus and Pundulus. These species also show some type of hormonal control. Now we'll discuss the functions of colorations of scale. The basic 
प्रिंसिपल फंक्शन ऑफ कलवेशन आर कंसीलमेंट डिस्काइज एंड एडवर्टाइजमेंट वट इज कंसीलमेंट कंसीलमेंट इज लाइक टू बी जनरल टू बी अपिलिटरेट द जनरल कॉलर रिजेंबलेंस is the principal function of coloration <clears throat> and variable color resemblance is also the part of concealment obliterative Obli shading obliterative shading is also the noun function of coloration of scale and the last one is the disruptive coloration these are all type of colorations are found in the fishes for their survival in the environment now let me discuss in detail what is concealment concealment is the general color resemblance important in resemblance between fish and its background for example many coral reefs are very bright in colors according to the coral coral colors present in the environment and some fishes living over light shaded bottoms are light colored but over dark bottoms the same species are dark this is the type of concealment they can change their body color according to their environment and it is also a type of camouflage in the fishes so the variable color resemblance is an ability of fish to change their color gradually or rapidly to match its background it is occurs in life history stages for example in rainbow trout is multicolored including dark spots in young and rosy sides in adult while the same individuals in sea are blue above and white in the below area of the water the variations also occurs according to seasons according to day or night or according to their environment for example trout occupying bright or partially shaded in summer while in ice covered or extreme winter they are evenly dark now the last type is the obliterated shading obliterated shading is also called the counter shading or the thayer's law it is a method of camouflage in which an animal's coloration is darker on the upper side and lighter on the underside of the body because if we see the fishes from the bottom of the water their low lighter side is camouflaged with the sky color and if a predator shows from the upper side of the water the darker color of the fish is camouflaged with the stones present inside the sea or ocean surface normally towards light source is counter shaded by darkening while surface towards shadow are counter lighted this diagram shows the obliterated shading the lighter lower side and the darker upper side 
it obeys the thayer's law the counter shaded by darkening and counter lighted by the light color show below the body of the fish and what is the disruptive coloration it is also known as disruptive camouflage or disruptive patterns surface of fish is covered by irregular patches of counter acid colors and tones that draw attention from the original shape which they have this make the confusion for the predator it also prevent or delay as long as possible recognition on sight this is a type of disruptive coloration the body of the fish have no specific pattern and you can't find the sight of the fish immediately <coughs> these are the jackknife fish and angel fish these are also showing the disruptive coloration <coughs> and their body is totally camouflage with the background of their environment because disruptive camouflage is also used for the prevention from predator now the last is the disguise disguise is also having the same meaning to change their appearance so simply it tends to reduce the resemblance of the fish to itself because they, they can change their appearance deflective and direct marks are important what are the deflective marks deflective marks are those which deflect the attack of an enemy from a more or less vital part of the body to some other part for example dark spot on the tail of the bowfin that part attract the predator to itself and the bowfin is not an vital part to survival of their life so if a predator attacks on a bowfin tail part then there are many chances to survive of this fish directive marks divert the attention of prey from the most dangerous part of the predator's part for example star gazers feeding habit now let me discuss about some examples of uh, these type of mark <clears throat> the goose or angler fish having luminous bulb it also a type of reflective mark which reflect the attention of the predator towards the, that luminous bulb which is not present on an most important part of their body even it is an extension from the body of the goose or angler fish these are the uh, fishes which shows a reflective mark the star gazer which is buried in the sand it is not buried by anyone else but itself and the other is the monk it also hide their eye part 
or it is harder to find their eye spots and i i have told you that the example of deflective mark is the tail of bow fin fishes so you can see in this picture there is a mark present on the tail and it is a picture of a bow fin fish which shows the deflective mark as some fishes show the coloration of the scales for the advertisement what is the meaning of advertisement here it is to alarming the other species or the other fishes and for the revealing of their body the coloration for advertise or reveal for example in the american darter it is also member of a perch family persidi are most brightly and it is a very significant character for the sexual recognition for example in sickle back it suggests the value of color in sexual recognition because the male's belly is red in sickle back species and it is a type of advertisement for the sexual recognition in these type of fishes so this is the american darter which have bright colors for the attention of their mate and for the revelation or the advertisement so the other fishes can specifically recognize them and these are the tickle back fishes tickle back fishes uh, the upper one is the female and the lower one is the male and you can see that the male's belly is red in this tickle back and it is for the sexual recognition in the last <clears throat> we are also use the scale coloration for the classification of the fishes the fishes are also classified on the base of their colors present on the body or the characteristic to change the color of their body it is used often as character to separate taxonomic units the exact pattern of chromatophores are often in genetic control and it is used in classification it was all about the coloration of scales and the reasons present in the body in the form of pigments to change the colors and why they change the color we have discussed all if you have any question you can ask in comments thank you